Have you ever felt a chill on the back of your neck? A sensation of being watched when no one is there? Now, imagine those feelings intensified, echoing through the long abandoned corridors of America's most historic prison. Welcome to Eastern State Penitentiary. Nestled within Philadelphia streets, the penitentiary stands as a testament to time, a massive castle-like structure that once housed America's most notorious criminals. But within its stone walls and rusted bars, some say the past isn't truly behind us. The prison, operational from 1829 to 1971, was revolutionary for its time. Its wagon wheel design was pioneering, but it wasn't the architecture that made it famous. It was its code of conduct. Silence. Inmates were not allowed to talk to each other. The masked guards ensured that, even during meals, the prisoners never saw another living soul. This extreme isolation, intended as a form of rehabilitation, often led to severe psychological distress. Now, decades after its closure, Visitors and staff frequently report strange occurrences. Phantom footsteps echo down hallways, shadowy figures dart between cells, and distant whispers float through the air. Could these be the restless spirits of former inmates trapped within the prison's imposing walls? One of the most notorious tales is that of cell block 12. Here, visitors speak of chilling laughter, shadows lurking in the corners, and disembodied faces that appear and then vanish. It's almost as if the souls held within these cells seek to share their stories, reaching out from the depths of the past. Then there's the story of Al Capone, the notorious gangster, housed in Eastern State for eight months, was treated to luxuries like a plush carpet and fine furniture in his cell. But according to some reports, Luxury didn't save him from the paranormal. He was often heard shouting at Jimmy, believed to be the ghost of James Clark, a victim from the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Was Capone haunted by his past deeds, or was it merely a figment of his guilt-ridden imagination? The penitentiary's infirmary is another hot spot. Here, where the sick and dying were treated, Many claim to see spectral apparitions and experience sudden temperature drops. Visitors often recount a feeling of sadness or dread, an overwhelming weight that presses down upon their shoulders. But what makes Eastern states' paranormal tales even more compelling is the number of skeptics turned believers. Many who've entered its walls, dismissing the stories as mere folklore, have come out rattled their skepticism replaced by wonder. They've heard the untraceable whispers, felt unseen hands, and seen figures that vanish before their very eyes. Scientists and paranormal investigators have long sought to unravel the mysteries of Eastern State. Armed with equipment, they've captured electronic voice phenomena and unexplained movements on infrared cameras. While some occurrences can be attributed to the prison's old age and the tricks our minds play in dim light, many remain unexplained. Eastern State Penitentiary serves as a chilling reminder that some places, steeped in history and emotion, never truly rest. The lingering energy of its past inhabitants, their pain and their stories seem to ripple through time. So if you ever find yourself wandering its abandoned corridors, Listen closely, for in the silence, you might just hear the whispers of history, the murmurs of souls long gone, and the undeniable evidence that sometimes the past refuses to be locked away.